Salvete. This video is to revise everything you should know about Latin verbs from Year 9. If you're not sure about any of this, you'll need to go back and double check to make sure that you understand it because we're going to build on this this year in Year 10. So, the most important thing to be aware of with Latin verbs is that they change their endings depending on different things. The first thing is person or who is doing the verb. This can be first, second or third. The second is number, or how many people are doing the verb, and that is either singular or plural. And the third thing is tense, which tells us when a verb is being done. We have met three tenses, which I'm going to talk about, the present, the imperfect, and the perfect. So firstly, we're just going to go over person and number. There are three persons and two numbers, which gives us the six set of endings that each verb has. So firstly we've got first person singular. First person is talking about yourself, so if there's just one of you in English this is I, and in um, the plural form it is we. Second person you zoom out, and this is you for using to talk about, sorry, to talk to someone else. So um, in English we use the pronoun you for both singular and plural, um, but there may be different forms of this you plural um, pronoun in different dialects of English, you might have heard y'all, you all, you guys, use, you fellas, and so on. Third person singular is used to talk about one person, either he, she, or it. And third person plural is used to talk about a group of people, and that is they. So each um, verb that you learn will come with six sets of endings, that's first person um, second and third person singular, and then the plural forms, so make sure you know what these all relate to. Tenses, as I said, tell us when a verb is being done, and we've met three different tenses so far in Latin. The first is the present tense, which is used to describe an action happening now. So if we take the verb eat, for example, we can say I eat, I am eating, or I do eat. Those are all in the present tense happening now. We've also met two different tenses which happen in the past. The first is for the imperfect. This is used to describe an action which is either incomplete or has been repeated in the past. I was eating, I used to eat, and so on. It also suggests that it's been interrupted. For example, I was eating dinner when the phone rang. That kind of suggests that, the, um, that I didn't get to finish my dinner. The opposite of the imperfect is the perfect, and this refers to a completed or one-off action in the past. I ate, I did eat, I have eaten. And so if we go back to that example of I was eating dinner, that suggests I didn't quite finish my dinner. I ate dinner suggests that I did. Okay, so now the endings for these three different um, tenses that we know. Here is the list of who all these endings um, refer to. Um, remember we go through singular and plural forms. So in the present, the endings are OST, mostus NT. Imperfect endings, bam, bas, bat, bamus, batus, bant. And the perfect, I, isti, it, emus, istis, aront. So the, if we read along the rows, I am eating, I was eating, I ate. Second person singular, you are eating or you eat, you were eating, you ate, and so on. So make sure that you both uh, you know both the endings and how to translate them into English. So just to recap the key points from this video, make sure that you um, are aware that in Latin it's the ending of the verb that tells us who's doing it, how many people are doing it, and when it's being done. So you need to make sure that you pay really careful attention to these endings when you're translating because it will affect the meaning of your sentence. Good luck, I'm looking forward to working with you this year.